Okay, so over here I have two halves of my prototype pack for my Nissan Leaf extended range uh, test. Um, and I, I indicated in my previous uh, video that I, I made these two packs in halves so they'd be more manageable. Um, and also that the voltage would be uh, lower when dealing with them. Um, so what I want to do is put a relay between the two packs. That'll join them together only when I'm ready to power the car. So, um, now, normally you would need a high voltage relay. Um, that would be the proper thing to do. However, those are expensive. Um, I already have some in uh, in the car uh, to be able to, to integrate the packs uh, with the, um, the pack in the car. Um, but I'll be using, well, I'll be trying, testing anyways, uh, 12 volt relays. Now, a 12 volt relay is designed to turn on and off a 12 volt um, the powered device and I'm going to be trying to pump through that uh, 368 volts um, now that should be a problem um, but from my research and I might be wrong is that as long as there's no uh, power going through it's, it's not interrupting or cutting off power uh, a relay um, can be can can carry a lot higher voltage than it's rated at. So this relay that'll connect the two packs together will only connect together, but these packs are not going to be connected to anything uh, on their outputs. So um, there's no when the relay turns on, it connects the two packs together, but uh, it's not powering anything. So there's no uh, there should be no spark uh, on the relay, uh, and therefore it should theory uh, work um, so what I uh, I've decided to tr attempt is this this is a pretty big mess of wires this is essentially this little circuit here so you got a positive and a negative and these are relays this is a relay over here and there's a relay down here so there's two relays so this what this does is that uh, when they're uh, normally uh, closed, on the normally closed side, um, it parallels the two batteries together. So I'll, I'll, over here, I'll have half the voltage. When I power these relays, which when they switch over, it should, at least in theory, um, double the voltage, put the two cells in series. So for my first attempt, I'm actually going to try these packs because these are 12 volt packs so in parallel I should have 12 volts in series I should have 24 so that's a little bit less uh, risky so let's plug this together so there we go now all right no sparks yet that's a good sign this is my output. Let's put my volt voltmeter on here. So I have 12.3 volts. So the two packs sit parallel, um, as, as it should be. So to uh, switch over these relays, I'm going to use these uh, batteries. So it's three cells in uh, series. So let's try this. And there we go, we got 24.7. So I didn't hear any zapping or any strange noise. So I would say that's success. So this uh, might seem strange. Why would I want to do that? Because uh, half these packs. Um, would still be a very high voltage and currently I have no way to charge those uh, the way I charge it, uh, if you look at my previous video I charged uh, six cells at a time until I charged them all um, well that's I'm looking at the future when I do my if and when I do my final pack I'm going to do something like this so right now there's only four packs represented here but that would be a total of 16. So if I take 96 cells in series that, that I need for 
uh, to integrate with the Nissan Leaf. And I cut it into 16 uh, blocks. So it would be 16 modules, uh, which will be smaller than that. Then, um, if this works as I hope it does, I'll be able to charge this same as I charge this here. So instead of having to do it manually where I have to charge six cells, six cells, six cells, six cells, with the appropriate number of relays with 16 cells, uh, when the relays are um, normally closed, I'll get um, about six cells uh, put together. And then I, so I can charge these. Uh, so basically it puts all the cell 16 packs uh, in parallel so that they're, they're easy to charge. And then when I put them in the car, I activate all the relays and then it should switch them all into series. And then I that, that will allow me to integrate uh, it when, with the pack in the car. So I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, so that's why I wanna try it with these, the prototype packs. And if it doesn't work, there, then I'll have to figure out a way to charge uh, the, the cells, the, the, the power pack. So uh, that's it for now, and uh, talk to you later.